away from the grandest stage of them all. But tonight, here on Monday Night Raw, a main event with epic WrestleMania momentum on the line. Two men who have been chomping at the bit to settle the score will do battle inside the confines of a solid steel cage. Welcome to Colorado Springs, Colorado, everybody, for your second to last Raw before WrestleMania. And coming up later tonight, inside a steel cage the rated r superstar one-on-one -on -one with the prize fighter it's a royal rumble rematch edge kevin owens steel cage match tonight on raw and we are set to kick things off from colorado springs with two men who are no strangers to each other dated back to late last year it's an old rivalry renewed the phenomenal aj styles locks horns with the nigerian giant omas aj styles is going to have a keen interest on that main event later tonight but he's got his hands full with the behemoth of world wrestling entertainment to kick us all the following contest is scheduled for one fall making his way to the ring from gainesville georgia weighing in at 218 pounds the What is coming up on WrestleMania Sunday, February 26? AJ Styles will team up with an old rival and the Rated R Superstar Edge as they will take on Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. The KO and Sami show have run rough shot over Monday Night Raw, picking fights with Edge and picking fights with the phenomenal AJ Styles. A common enemy brings these two former enemies closer and at WrestleMania, Edge and AJ Styles will be on the same side of the ring as they battle it out with Sami Zayn and the prize fighter, Kevin Owens. So we will get AJ Styles in action here. We will get Kevin Owens at edge inside the steel cage later tonight. It is gonna be a WrestleMania momentum kind of night here in Colorado Springs. Who's gonna build it on the road to the show of shows in Tampa Bay, Florida? And his opponent, from Lagos, Nigeria, weighing in at 400 pounds, Omos! The Nigerian giant Omos with a big WrestleMania date ahead of him as well. WrestleMania Saturday for the first time ever. Omos threw out a challenge. It was accepted by the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar. One on one for the first time ever coming up on a WrestleMania Saturday. And of course, it will be a live premiere weekend starting in just 10 nights. Saturday night, February 25th. Sunday night, February 26th. Both at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Raymond James Stadium, Tampa Bay, Florida is going to be rocking for the grandest stage of them all. This is your second to last Monday Night Raw before we get to the show of shows. And as we've already mentioned multiple times, a lot of WrestleMania momentum is riding on the line tonight. The Nigerian giant Omos, no strangers to the phenomenal AJ Styles. As a matter of fact, the last time these two men went one-on-one, -on -one, dating back to the fall, Omos actually picked up a victory over AJ Styles. Of course, that was due to the help of Bobby Lashley during Omos's run of the Hurt Business, but nonetheless, they lock horns yet again, here to kick us off in Colorado Springs. I want to thank you for joining us here on your second to last Raw before WrestleMania. Be sure to like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe down below. We are on the road to 1,000 subscribers. And when we hit that goal, exclusive channel memberships with epic perks for every single channel member will be coming, including Saturday night's main event, a spe special house shows for Universe Mode, and so much more. So be sure to hit the subscribe button down below here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Omos taking AJ Styles to the outside. Styles heading back into the ring. The referee trying to make sure this thing doesn't break down in a hurry. Here comes Omos. Wait a minute. Holy hell. AJ Styles just hit a damn Spanish fly on the Nigerian giant. And he followed it up with a springboard moonsault. AJ Styles wants his hand raised in victory tonight on the road to WrestleMania. My God, the ability, the agility, the strength of AJ Styles to be able to get Omos off his feet and send him for a ride. But I don't know, it may have done some damage to Omos, but it might have just pissed him off even more. The Nigerian Giant gets caught up in a head scissors by Styles and the matchup rolls on. 
We are in for a mega night here on Monday Night Raw. Styles and Omos kicking us off. And later tonight, a matchup with a whole lot of writing on it. We will get the tag team match at WrestleMania, but there is a one-on-one -on -one personal score to settle between the Rated R Superstar Edge and the prize fighter Kevin Owens. And when the steel cage is lowered later tonight, we will see who's the better man. Choke slam by Omos. And into the cover goes the Nigerian Giant to pick up the victory, and Styles gets the shoulder up. And Omos continuing the fight on AJ Styles, throwing some haymakers. Last time we saw Omos was at a, over a week ago on Saturday night's main event when he defeated his former Hurt Business brethren and Cedric Alexander, but moments after the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar hit the ring, tried to lay out Omos just like he did a few weeks ago on Monday Night Raw when he dropped Omos with not one but two F5s, but on Saturday night's main event, the Nigerian giant was ready. Lesnar hit the ring, but unfortunately did not leave the way he wanted to. Omos left him laying inside the squared circle. Omos is getting a fight here tonight. I mean, he's obviously doing some damage on Styles, but the former WWE champion not going to go out without giving everything he's got to the Nigerian giant. Omos, look at this. Look at that. Clothesline, and Styles really cannot get going in this matchup. A couple of moves here and there, but every time he's getting cut off by Omos. Omos will take on the Beast Incarnate, the alpha male of our species, Brock Lesnar, for the first time ever. The Beast versus the Giant on WrestleMania Saturday. It's going to be an epic matchup. I don't know how the hell the ring is going to stay put in that contest. Hopefully it's reinforced come Raymond James Stadium. What a slam by Omos into the cover on Styles to win this thing here. And again, Styles survives. AJ avoids the kick there, trying to get back into this fight. As we mentioned, AJ Styles is hanging in there, but he kept, keeps getting cut off by the momentum of Omos. But there's Styles driving the big man down with a neck breaker, and Omos heads to the outside. Styles gonna meet him on the outskirts of the ring and drops the big man with the DDT. There's Omos again getting out of the way, avoiding the knee by Styles and sends him driving into the barricade. Crash and burn for the phenomenal one and look at the strength by the Nigerian giant, a power bomb on the outside of the ring. AJ Styles has gotta be careful in this matchup, man. He does not wanna get injured, seriously hurt before WrestleMania. He's got to stand alongside Edge to fight Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn in just over 10 nights on WrestleMania Sunday. And Omos back to the outside. He broke the count. Styles is reeling. And Omos is out to make a statement tonight. He hopes Brock Lesnar is at home in Minneapolis watching this matchup, scouting the Nigerian giant Omos. Styles tried throwing a chop there, but Omos was having none of it. Just ragged on AJ Styles all around ringside right now. Four. AJ's got to get up. He's got to get his wits about him. He's got to get back in this fight now or never. Five. Does not want to get in to WrestleMania with a loss against the giant Omos. Omos doesn't give a damn how he wins this match. He'll take the count out. Referee's at a count of six right now, and Omos is just going to lie and wait. Seven waiting to get his hand raised in this fight. Count of seven, AJ Styles is on his feet, finally shaking it off, and now gonna head back inside the squared circle. But here comes Omos with a close lock. Wait a minute! The Beast incarnate, Brock Lesnar! Is he here? Or is he just playing mind games with Omos? I think that may be so. Omos' eye gets taken off the ball, and Styles drops him with a neck breaker. Brock Lesnar staying one step ahead of the Nigerian Giant, and another DDT by the phenomenal AJ Styles, who heads to the outside, and I think we know what comes next. Phenomenal forearm! Into the cover, he takes the seven-footer off his feet. And thanks to the help of Brock Lesnar, AJ Styles gets the victory tonight on Raw. Well, Brock Lesnar may not be here in Colorado Springs, but clearly found a way to send a message to the Giant nonetheless. 
Omas's eye gets taken off the ball, and AJ Styles not going to question it. He takes advantage of the opportunity. Phenomenal forearm, and he nailed it flush. Knocked the big man off his feet long enough to walk away from Monday Night Raw, getting his hand raised. A big win for the phenomenal AJ Styles. The road to WrestleMania continues later tonight when AJ's WrestleMania partner Edge takes on Kevin Owens inside the steel cage. Well, Cody Rhodes returns at WrestleMania and earlier today, Austin Theory had this to say on Twitter. When I thought all hope was lost, a new road to WrestleMania revealed itself. So Cody, you're coming back to my WWE? Well, I will take great pride in reminding you that you are the past and the now belongs to me. Hashtag all day. Austin Theory throwing out the gauntlet and ladies and gentlemen, it is official. WrestleMania Saturday for the first time ever. All day Austin Theory will go one on one with the American Nightmare, the returning Cody Rhodes. WrestleMania continues to get bigger and bitter. I cannot wait until WrestleMania Saturday, just 10 nights away. But we are set for action here in Colorado Springs tonight. The New Day's Kofi Kingston, unfortunately, will not be finding his way to WrestleMania after the New Day came up short and the semifinals of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic last week. But Kofi looks to get back in the winning ways and bring some momentum to the New Day locker room as he goes one-on-one -on -one with the man we just discussed, the now of WWE, the former WWE Champion, all day, Austin Theory. And his opponent from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin Theory. Austin Theory has been searching for a road to WrestleMania. He tried taking away Matt Riddle's WWE Championship match back on Saturday night's main event to no avail. But Austin Theory saw an opportunity. Cody Rhodes coming back to WWE. He makes his return on WrestleMania Saturday and he needed an opponent. And all day Austin Theory jumping on the opportunity. And for the first time in both men's careers, Theory will go one-on-one -on -one with Cody Rhodes on WrestleMania Saturday. What a matchup that is going to be. So Austin Theory in action tonight against the New Day's Kofi Kingston. Remember the last time Theory went one-on-one -on -one with a member of the New Day? It was Big E in the lead-up to the Elimination Chamber, and Theory came up short on that night after ambushing Big E in the aisle way, and Big E was able to defeat Theory. So Austin Theory now going one-on-one -on -one with Kofi Kingston and with WrestleMania looming just 10 nights away, it's all about building momentum tonight for each and every person inside the Monday Night Raw ring. Kofi Kingston's more worried about getting the New Day back on track. No Woods or Big E in his corner tonight. He's laser focused against Austin Theory. Two former WWE champions locking horns here in Colorado Springs. Kofi Kingston unloading on Theory there, and there's a nice counter. May not like Austin Theory, may not like his attitude, may not like his ego, but nonetheless, he's a great talent in there. He's got a long career ahead of him. Remember last year, August the 7th at Extreme Rules, he actually became the WWE Champion, held it for about a month up until September the 10th at Judgment Day, where he lost it back to the rated R Superstar Edge. Theory also had an incredible rivalry with John Cena for the better part of last year resulted in three matches. Theory coming up short, two to one to Cena, but Theory, even so young in his career, has made major accomplishments, and now a huge opportunity ahead. Trying to dethrone Cody Rhodes and take away his spotlight on his return night at WrestleMania. That is gonna be a huge matchup for WrestleMania Saturday. Meanwhile, here comes Kofi with a splash from the top rope. 
Erie getting crushed between the ribs of Kofi. Kofi, excuse me, in the canvas below. Nice drop kick by the New Day's competitor. Kofi doesn't give a damn if Theory's facing Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania or if Theory's in the backup getting water for the boys. He wants a win tonight, nonetheless. Austin Theory having none of it, however. Kick to the gut of Kofi Kingston. Kofi going up and gets dropped right on the knee of the all-day superstar. And the now of World Wrestling Entertainment is going to be looking to put this thing away, tying Kofi up and flipping him inside out. Kofi goes for a ride to the ATL. And like it or not, Austin Theory's getting the victory tonight on Raw. Well, Kofi put up a fight, but Austin Theory is laser focused on WrestleMania. He finally, as he said, found his road that he oh so wanted. And the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes will go one on one with the young man come WrestleMania Saturday. Here is your winner, Austin Theory. Saturday night, February 25th, Rhodes versus Theory for the first time ever. The action continues tonight in Colorado Springs as the women's champion of WWE, Asuka, goes one-on-one -on -one with Casey Catanzaro, plus the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship, Ilya Dragunov battles Jordan Devlin. And the results of those contests see Asuka building momentum towards her match with Becky Lynch at WrestleMania, plus the number one contender, Ilya Dragunov, defeats Jordan Devlin and looks ahead to his match with Pete Dunne on WrestleMania Saturday. We're back live on WWE Raw. Shayna Baszler and Sonya Deville set for tag team action against the new number one contenders for the WWE Women's Championship come WrestleMania. The shiniest wizard of the WWE, Tegan Knox, and her tag team partner, Shotzi, set for action. And from the Welsh Valleys, Tegan. You heard me correct, ladies and gentlemen. After their singles victories the last couple of weeks, Tegan Knox and Shotzi have earned their opportunity. They will face Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell of the way on WrestleMania Saturday for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship of the World. Away have held the gold since Survivor Series on Thanksgiving night. They defeated Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan, as well as Naomi and Sasha Banks in tag team title defenses. Now, two new challengers arise in the shiningest wizard and the ballsy badass, and most importantly, former WWE Women's Champion, Shotzi. And from Oakland, California, Shotzi. These issues between Shotzi, Tegan Knox, and The Way started a couple of weeks ago when Shotzi was outnumbered by Candice and Indy Hartwell. She recruited Tegan Knox, a woman who she fought a few months back in Tegan Knox returned to Monday Night Raw back when Shotzi was the WWE Women's Champion. A mutual respect, excuse me, between these two women and a common enemy in Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell. And now Shotzi, who was most recently a WWE Women's Champion dating back from Thanksgiving night at Survivor Series to January 1st at the Royal Rumble, now has another opportunity at Championship Gold here in WWE. And Tegan Knox, who recently fell to Asuka at the Elimination Chamber in an attempt to become the Women's Champion, also has another opportunity at Gold. It's an incredibly talented team of the shiningest wizard and the ballsy badass and Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell. They've been operating on an incredible level. They won those titles by making their way through a women's tag team championship tournament. They've ret retained them twice. As a tag team, they've been untouchable, but is Shotzi and Tegan Knox the combination that is gonna dethrone the way of the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship at WrestleMania? We will find out in 10 nights on WrestleMania Saturday, but nonetheless, tonight is about one word, momentum. And Shayna Baszler and Sonya Deville want some momentum for themselves. They want an opportunity at the tag team titles. And if they can defeat the number one contenders tonight, you got to believe that puts them in line for a future opportunity at the gold. And still to come tonight on Monday Night Raw, the prize fighter Kevin Owens battles the rated R superstar Edge inside a steel cage. That'll be your main event. 
Right now, Shayna Baszler, the queen of spades, unloading on Tegan Knox inside the squared circle and sends her outside the squared circle. Shayna Baszler out to prove a point tonight here on Raw as she takes out Shotzi as well. Now a tag made to Sonya Deville and Deville and Baszler coming in with an attitude and with a purpose tonight. Tegan Knox is getting absolutely crumbled in this first moment of the matchup and able to kick out a two there, but absolutely unloading with the offense is Deville and Baszler. Knox trying to get back into this thing as he brings Sonya Deville into the opposing corner. As we mentioned, it's singles victories by Shotzi and Tegan Knox over Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell the last few weeks on Raw that earned them then tag, that tag team championship opportunity. But we have yet to see these two women up until right now as a team. So getting a little preview tonight to see how they work cohesively and also getting a little warm up for them to try to put together a blueprint for WrestleMania to take down Candice and Indy Hartwell. Nonetheless, Shotzi heading back to the top rope. Oh, wait a minute, could have been going for the coffin drop, but Sonya Deville up on her feet, and Shotzi with a seated senton there. The ballsy badass throwing caution in the wind. Now tying up Sonya Deville, unorthodox submission hold. Don't normally see Shotzi go for these types of maneuvers, but nonetheless, Sonya Deville able to get out of it. Two women on the other side of the ring. Sonya Deville and Shayna Baszler looking to steal the victory right now. Shotzi gets the shoulder up. I was about to mention those two women, both profound with MMA backgrounds, and Shayna Baszler, one of the submission specialists of WWE. Shotzi's trying to beat them at their own game a moment ago. Now into the cover by the ballsy badass, and Deville gets the shoulder up. And it's the Ray and Indy Hartwell. You gotta wonder what their mindset is. Yes, they've come up short in the singles victories, but are they confident when it comes to tag team action? They've been untouchable in two on two matches over the last couple of months. But Shotzi, she's got that slice bread in her back pocket. Not putting Sonya Deville away yet. Shotzi, I thought she would have went for the cover there, but clearly has got something else in mind. All about building momentum, all about making a statement here in Colorado Springs tonight. There's a tag to Tegan Knox. And the ballsy badass, the shiniest wizard, looking to do a little double team on Sonya Deville. Into the cover. To win this tag team matchup here, Deville gets the shoulder up, almost had her. Meanwhile, Baszler hitting the ring, has had enough of this. Sending Shotzi over the top rope. Tegan Knox takes care of Shayna Baszler. But she took her eye off Sonya Deville. Now Deville, again, the MMA background of Deville and Baszler. Sonya showcasing that before our very eyes. They keep her eye on Tegan Knox, though, one of the incredible strikers in the women's division. Sonya down, Tegan Knox has got her in her predicament. There's a kick to the gut. Code red! And Sonya Deville might be seeing red, staring up at the lights into the cover. Momentum certainly built. Driver's seat in full fledge, and the pedal is pressed all the way down. Tegan Knox and Sonya Deville on the fast lane to WrestleMania. A great win tonight, an impressive win by this newly formed tag team here on Monday Night Raw. Here are your winners, Tegan Knox and Shotzi. They got the win tonight, but will they be your new WWE Women's Tag Team Champions when they fight Candice and Indy on WrestleMania Saturday? It is a live premiere weekend, Saturday night, February 25th, and Sunday night, the 26th, 5 p.m. Eastern time for the grandest stage of them all. And coming up on WrestleMania Saturday from Friday Night SmackDown, the Cruiserweight Championship will be defended as the master of the 619, Rey Mysterio, goes up against the leader of Legado del Fantasma, Santos Escobar. It is the finals of the Dusty Rose Tag Team Classic, Rawls, Dijakovic, and Priest take on SmackDown's Ricochet and Ali. The winners move on to WrestleMania Sunday to battle DIY for the WWE Tag Team Championship. As we found out moments ago, the Women's Tag Team Championships will be defended as well as Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell defend the gold against the ballsy badass Shotzi and the shiningest wizard of WWE, Tegan Knox. 
After the events of last week on Monday Night Raw, it is officially signed for WrestleMania, Karrion Cross versus the whole damn show, Rob Van Dam, and it is going to be an Extreme Rules match in Tampa Bay, Florida and reinforce the ring in Raymond James Stadium when the Nigerian giant Omos battles the beast incarnate and the alpha male of our species, Brock Lesnar, one-on-one -on -one for the first time ever. And another first time ever matchup signed earlier tonight, the all-day Austin Theory takes on the returning American nightmare. Cody Rhodes is back and he goes one-on-one -on -one with the now Austin Theory on WrestleMania Saturday. The Intercontinental Championship will be on the line. Ilya Dragunov earned his matchup back on Saturday night's main event last week, and he will go one-on-one -on -one with the United Kingdom's best bruiserweight, Pete Dunne, for the Intercontinental Gold. And in the main event of WrestleMania Saturday, from Friday Night SmackDown, the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre, versus the visionary Seth freaking Rollins for the World Heavyweight Championship. And in the main event of WrestleMania Sunday, the following night from Monday Night Raw, Randy Orton and Matt Riddle, the WWE titles on the line. And get this, after all the anarchy, all the chaos, this match has officially been made. No holds barred. Also coming up on WrestleMania Sunday, for the first time ever in their legendary careers, the glorious Robert Roode battles the franchise John Cena, two of SmackDown's All-Stars, set to go one-on-one. -on -one. As we discussed, the WWE Tag Team Championships of the World will be defended. The winners of the 2023 Dusty Classic will battle Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa DIY for the Tag Team Gold. Coming your way from SmackDown, the United States Championship set to be on the line as the almighty Bobby Lashley, for the first time ever, battles Imperium. Ring General Walter, what a collision this is gonna be for the United States title. The WWE Women's Championship will be on the line. The man, the number one contender, who outlasted five other women inside the Elimination Chamber, Becky Lynch, goes one-on-one -on -one with the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. And it is a tag team grudge match. The phenomenal AJ Styles, the rated R superstar Edge, old rivals put their differences aside to settle the score with Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. And those two men go one-on-one -on -one up next. Well, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next week on your final Monday Night Raw before WrestleMania, Sami Zayn is set to go one-on-one -on -one with the 2023 Royal Rumble match winner, the original bro, Matt Riddle. Also coming up next week on Raw, it is a epic champion versus champion main event as the Intercontinental Champion Pete Dunne battles the WWE Champion Randy Orton. Who's gonna build momentum to WrestleMania on the final Monday Night Raw before the grandest stage of them all? But ladies and gentlemen, it is main event time from Colorado Springs, Colorado on Raw. The following contest is a steel cage match. Making his way to the ring from Marieville, Quebec, Canada. Weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin Owens. This situation has escalated above and beyond over the last couple of months, but when you break it all down and you take AJ Styles out of the equation, and you take Sami Zayn out of the equation, this thing all started with Kevin Owens and Edge back when the prize fighter, the man on your screen right now, ambushed Edge in the backstage area on the Raw after Survivor Series, only aggravating the, the injuries of Edge following his Hell in a Cell match even more. Edge returned and ambushed Kevin Owens at Saturday night's main event in December. The two men went one-on-one -on -one back at the Royal Rumble, and of course we know how that went, Sami Zayn costing Edge the matchup in his hometown. And after Sami Zayn screwed over Edge two weeks ago, Edge has got a chance to at least for now settle the score with Kevin Owens. The steel cage will be lowered. AJ Styles will get his chance at WrestleMania. Sami Zayn has no way to get involved in this match. It is Edge and it is Kevin Owens and it is a score to settle on the line with momentum on the line towards the grandest stage of them all. 
and his opponent from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 249 pounds, the rated R Superstar Edge. WrestleMania kicks off in just 10 nights, and I gotta say, this is what the road to WrestleMania is all about. Colorado Springs, Colorado is rocking. I got goosebumps right now. It is WrestleMania season. Edge is in the house, and it is a goddamn steel cage main event. This is how you do it. You ain't gonna find this action anywhere else in any other universe. Here we go, main event time. Kevin Owens and Edge locked inside the steel cage. Edge has wanted to get his hands solely on Kevin Owens since January the 1st at the Royal Rumble. And tonight, he gets that opportunity at WrestleMania. It is gonna be a double whammy with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn on the opposing side of the ring as AJ Styles stands alongside the Rated R Superstar. But tonight it is about the individuals. Tonight it is about what started this whole situation. Kevin Owens sending Edge right into the steel cage. This cage isn't just meant to keep other superstars out. It is also there to be used as a weapon, and the prize fighter knows exactly how to do that. Edge hit the cage, and he hit it hard, and the momentum, well, I was gonna say, is in the corner of KO, but never count out the Rated R Superstar. Edge had an amazing 2022 won the WWE Championship on two separate occasions. Unfortunately, it ended on a sour note due to this situation with Kevin Owens, but Edge is looking to get a measure of revenge tonight. A middle rope spear into the cover. Only a two count, but I don't think Edge was necessarily going for the win right there. I think he's just trying to get in the head of Kevin Owens. Edge is out for retribution and so much more tonight. And just imagine, we're getting this matchup here tonight on Raw. Imagine what the atmosphere is gonna feel like when we add two more superstars to the equation and we get a tag team matchup for the ages at WrestleMania. That match will go down on WrestleMania Sunday, so about 11 nights for these two men inside the squared circle to rest up. We saw AJ in action earlier, pick up the win over the, over the Nigerian Giant Amos thanks to Brock Lesnar's interference. And then next week on Raw, a final Raw before Mania, we will see Sami Zayn in action one-on-one -on -one against Matt Riddle. Next week's Raw also looking stacked with the main event, champion versus champion, intercontinental champ Pete Dunne battles it out for the first time ever against the WWE champion, Randy Orton. On the final Monday Night Raw before we get to the grandest stage of them all. Meanwhile, Kevin Owens flipping edge inside out. This matchup rolls on. This is a big fight feel, and you know what? We're, we're real amped up. We got goosebumps with this main event. A lot is riding on the line, but you also got to wonder, these two men are absolutely risking injury right there in this matchup so close to WrestleMania. And you certainly don't want to go on the shelf. Just 10 nights, or for these guys, 11 nights until they get to the show of shows in Tampa Bay especially with everything Edge has been through. I mean, he went through that Hell in the Cell match with Randy Orton back at Survivor Series on Thanksgiving night. It was the night after where Kevin Owens ambushed him and only aggravated the injuries of Edge that much more. And the next time we saw Edge in action, wait a minute, oh my goodness! Sending KO for a ride into the steel. Brutality at its finest in your main event here on Raw. Again, these two men faced off back in January the 1st at the Royal Rumble and no holds barred. Sami Zayn got involved on that night, but he can't get involved tonight. Big time bulldog with a rated R superstar. Kevin Owens down and out, and Edge, wait a minute. Edge using the top rope to scale the side of the steel cage. Here he comes, a flying Canadian. Elbow drop to Kevin Owens. Right to the back as well. And somehow, KO was a, KO able to avoid that knee. But he has got to be feeling the punishment. I mean, both men do. This cage is only a few minutes in, and it's been absolutely brutal since the opening bell. This is an 
absolute fist fight in there between the prize fighter and the rated R superstar. And Kevin Owens, speaking of fist fights, using his closed fist and now the stop it away on the heart of Edge. Back and forth we go here. Neither one of these men wanting to give an inch. Neither one of these men wanting to come up short before WrestleMania. Oh no, KO looking for a power bomb here. Oh my! Oh, right up against the cage! It delivers a power bomb in the middle of the ring. Into the cover. Edge gets the shoulder up, but you gotta believe the most damage has been done so far in this match off that maneuver. Power bomb into the cage wall, and then dead center of the ring. Edge has got to be feeling it right now. Owens was trying to go down low, and Edge instead sends Owens into the cage. This is physicality at its finest, ladies and gentlemen. And again, back and forth we go here. Edge gets a shot. Kevin Owens gets a shot. One man eats the cage. The other man eats the cage. This may come down to simply who is the last man standing in this matchup. And right now, it's looking like that's going to be Edge. Super kick followed by, what was it, five headbutts there. Nothing fancy, nothing pretty, but certainly effective. Edge chasing after Owens right now. Back and forth again, the momentum. The pendulum swings in this matchup. Counter for counter, hold for hold, shot for shot. As KO sits atop the ropes at Edge, his wheels are spinning. Oh no. Elevated DDT. And Kevin Owens, he's eating that DDT after multiple encounters with the cage wall. And again, Edge is scaling the ropes, scaling the cage. And now again, drops the elbow on Kevin Owens. And that may do it. Edge satisfied with the result. Into the cover he goes, but Owens is able to scrape his shoulder off the canvas. Edge thought he inflicted enough punishment on Kevin Owens, but not just yet. You may not like Kevin Owens, but you certainly got to pay, pay your respects to the toughness of that man and everything he's been through throughout his career and just in this matchup alone. Dropping him with the knee there. And Edge trying to rally this crowd in Colorado Springs. What a night it has been on Monday Night Raw. Just 10 nights away before we kick off WrestleMania weekend. 11 nights until we see these two men back inside the squared circle with their tag team partners at a tag team grudge match that may be the biggest tag team match in WrestleMania history. What a boot by Kevin Owens to get back into this. That stretch right there from Edge is probably the longest stretch of offense in this matchup from either man. And Kevin Owens now. You smell a sense of urgency out of the prize fighter. Edge is down. Kevin Owens taking momentum for himself in this match. Oh, no. Stunner. And that may do it. No. Edge gets the shoulder up. Kevin Owens. Snap in the neck of the Rated R Superstar off the stunner. But Edge, he's been there before, and he's fought back from worse. Shoulder off the canvas, and the matchup continues. Never count out the Rated R Superstar. And back to the headbutts he goes. He doesn't care if he hurts himself in the process. He just wants to inflict punishment and seek absolute vengeance on Kevin Owens tonight. Whipping him off into the rope. Nope, there's a counter by Kevin Owens. And an overhead shot. May have rung the bell of the Rated R Superstar. But there's the back and forth again in this contest. And Edge drops KO with the DDT. This is what WrestleMania season is all about, ladies and gentlemen. My goodness! How many times can a human body come in contact with unforgiving steel and live to talk about it? Oh, and again, Edge sends Kevin Owens with emphatic force over the top rope, spine first into the cage. Vengeance on the mind of the Rated R Superstar tonight, and he's not done. Edge came in with a blueprint, and he's absolutely using it to his fullest advantage tonight. Edge has been in the trenches. He's been in deep waters before. 
Oh my God, did you see the emphatic force Edge used to throw Kevin Owens from one side of the ring all the way to the cage. What a minute, Edge going for the spear. He's in the corner. Oh, Kevin Owens with a counter and dropped Edge with a DDT. How the hell Kevin Owens was able to avoid that spear after getting tossed into the steel cage time after time after time again is beyond me. And somehow your main event here on Raw rolls on another moment. Kevin Owens going for a clothesline, Edge avoids it off the big boot. And this has been a fight. This has been one of the best matches we have seen of the year here in WWE. And Edge putting Kevin Owens on the top rope again. And Edge, this time, is going to meet him up there from the middle rope, from Brett's rope, with the TD, or excuse me, with the neck breaker. Will that do it? Barely, barely, Kevin Owens gets the shoulder up. Colorado Springs showing their appreciation, and I think Edge thought he had it there. I mean, I'm sure Edge has no problem inflicting more punishment on Kevin Owens, but with WrestleMania looming, I'm sure both these men are thinking it's time to put it away. It's time to take it home. It's time to get your hand raised and live to fight another day. Kevin Owens is down. Edge is not afraid to hit the sky here. In a minute, Kevin Owens getting to his feet. Edge, however, waiting for him. Goes for the axe hammer, but Owens is able to avoid it. And that may have been a costly misstep by Edge. Was going for the kill. Owens spins Edge inside out. And that may have cost Edge this entire main event, but Edge gets the shoulder up. How the hell? And the main event continues. KO, oh, I thought he was going for the center. The spear, spear by Edge, out of nowhere. Vengeance on the mind of the rated R superstar. And that was just a measure of it. Just a measure of vengeance seeked by Edge tonight in Colorado Springs. What a steel cage match. Here tonight on Raw, just 11 nights before the epic tag team affair on WrestleMania Sunday. Here is your winner, the Rated R Superstar, Edge. Well, match number two between Edge and Kevin Owens goes to the man in the white. But coming up at WrestleMania, it will be 2v2. Edge has got a smile on his face now, but there's still an ultimate score to settle with the duo of the KO and Sammy Show that have run a rough shot over Monday Night Raw ever since reforming back on January the 1st at the Royal Rumble. It is coming up on WrestleMania Sunday, tag team grudge match, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn look to take down AJ Styles and the rated R superstar Edge. And coming up next week on Raw, Sami Zayn will be in singles action versus the 2023 Royal Rumble match winner, number one contender for the WWE title, Matt Riddle. And speaking of the WWE champion, also next week on Raw, he is involved in a first time ever champion versus champion match when Randy Orton meets the Intercontinental Champ, Pete Dunne. Thank you for joining us here tonight in Colorado Springs. We will see you next week for the final Raw before WrestleMania. Game face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back, I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, you can hate on that, I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a